Columbia Records, who the Chuck Wagon Gang had a 39-year affiliation with, has documented that they sold 40 million records through the years. That's quite impressive. When the Chuck Wagon Gang was in the middle of uh, the, the 30s and 40s and 50s, they were the second leading artist as far as record sales for Columbia, second to Xavier Cugat, who was a Spanish band leader. And they were followed in sales by the newly rising country star Johnny Cash. Chuck Wagon Gang's music went out and touched a lot of lives. And one of the lives that it touched was my grandpa Johnson, Elroy Lee Johnson. He was a Mississippi cotton farmer, but he came in from the field one day. And after he got through eating lunch, he sat down in his favorite chair and turned on the radio station. And I could hear the brass nail heads in his brogan shoes kind of tap lightly. My grandpa closed his eyes, and it was that look of perfect peace and contentment on his face. And when it was over, he stood up and he said, that's mighty good, and went back to work. And that was the first time that I ever heard Chuck Wagon Gang music, and it was the first time that I ever saw gospel music in person, and the effect that it had on a human being. And it, it's been a part of my life ever since. When I was very young, four or five, under five years old, uh, most of the old folks, uh, they were two kind of people, the kind that went to the Bob Wills dances, they were, you know, they were taboo, and then there was people that listened to church music, I called it. Well, the, uh, one of the church groups that I thought was really good was the, was the Chuck Wagon Gang. Back when I was a kid, there was always every hour on uh, the country shows on radio, they always play a gospel song. And a lot of the times it would be the Chuck Wagon Gang would be one of their tunes. Probably the oldest traditional gospel group that I remember. We listened to the radio all we could and I had battery radio and, uh, and then we listened to records a lot. And Mama was just a huge fan of the old Chuck Wagon Gang. I got to see them in my home high school when I was a teenager and it set all of the wheels in motion for me. I wanted to sing in a four-part harmony group like that. This is a letter that came from the White House. It kind of shows, you know, the far-reaching effects of Chuck Wagon Gang music. I send greetings to those celebrating the 70th anniversary of the Chuck Wagon Gang. Our nation has always benefited from a strong tradition of faith, and gospel music has always been an important part of this religious heritage. Today, we continue to be inspired by spiritual music and its message of courage, comfort, and hope. This anniversary is an opportunity to recognize the Chuck Wagon Gang whose work reflects the faith and strong values that make America a better place. I applaud the Chuck Wagon Gang for your dedication and achievements. By sharing your God-given talents and helping others experience faith through music, you lift hearts and bring others closer to God. Laura and I send our best wishes on this special occasion. May God bless you and may God continue to bless America. That was signed by George W. Bush, a fan, a Texas boy of the Chuck Wagon. During the legacy of the Chuck Wagon Gang, there have been a lot of bumps along the road. I mean, it even started in adversity when my grandmother got sick. And there's been a lot of, of, of challenges along the way. In 1967, when my grandfather Howard passed away, I think it almost came to an end. And losing him was a, just a real blow to my grandmother. I don't know that she really ever got over it. Uh, they were really in love. Uh, but my grandmother, I guess, it would have been God just kind of prodding her, you know, you can't let this stop. Never mind the struggles in this world below. Make your preparation, get ready to go to God's land eternal, way beyond the blue. Looking forward to that meeting. Neighbor, how, how about, about, how about you? Savior in the sweet by and by at the meeting in the heaven in the city in the sky. Oh, so many loved ones who have gone on before. 
We hope you've enjoyed this video from New Haven Collections. For more videos like this, you can check out their website by clicking the box above. Also, be sure to check out the fun, frivolity, and music on Wilson Fairchild's YouTube channel. They're also a part of our YouTube community. Plus, you can see some of your favorite shows in their entirety at www.countryroadtv.com. Thanks for watching.